Blue Zushi's in Colorado now. Tell your homies. Hey y'all, it's Short and Stone, but if you're new here, you can call me Kelly. I'm a Canna advocate, medical patient, and solventless foods entrepreneur. On today's episode, I am going to be sharing with you what $300 can get you in Colorado's legal market of some solventless products. All right, let's get into it. I have eight different jars of six different flavors procured from three different shops across Colorado and 10 G's total. Averaging out at about $30 a G, that is a great price for some solventless product, baby. Let's start with my favorite of the bunch. I grabbed three of these jars from the Tricomb Collective in Papaya Spritz. This was achieved by crossing papaya and spritzer. Heavy on the papaya, on the taste, on the inhale, on the exhale, on the aroma. It is just hitting all of the boxes. And after I purchased this, they actually changed the packaging on this lineage since it won their extractor's choice. If you know me, you know I love my award-winning terps, and this was definitely one of them. It is some premium live rosin, and it is 70 to 149 U. Let me crack a jar and show you. But first, listen. It's like air vacuum sealed. I love, I love when packaging goes above and beyond. When you're slaying some high quality product, I best hope the packaging matches. And it does. Did you see how much I got in there left? Maybe one. I'll do it. I'll do it, okay? You can see they do a full holographic sticker around the outside of it. And their logo on top is giving Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory vibe. Everything about this jar is hitting it for me. Let's throw some in our Puffco and get going. Today, I am going to be doing dry hits only out of the new Puffco Peak. Cheers. Jeez. Oof. First rip of the day. That is so tasty. This isn't a rating and ranking of the flavors. If you are curious about that, I do have two previous uploads where I taste tested some similar product. This one today, I just wanted to focus on showing, you know, how much you can expect to get in the state for educational and entertainment purposes only. Let's move on to my second favorite I got from the pickup. And this is a 2G bucket from Little Necks. Big Heads GMO, Garlic Mushroom Onion. This is my favorite lineage of all time, especially for medical purposes. The terpene combination really can provide me almost immediate relief when it comes to me dealing with my chronic pain flare-ups. Even before I had my amputation accident, that's what I was using to alleviate problems regarding my Robino syndrome. But now that I deal with phantom pain from an accident, GMO has also proved to kick butt in that field too. This will be a premium live rosin. Oh, did you hear that? I had the pop as well. The packaging on this, crazy. It has like embossed and raised garlic, mushroom, and onion little symbols. And they have the airtight seal. Oh, oh, she is stunna. She is stunna. And this is going to be 73 to 159 U. Big heads, little necks, they really know what they're doing. I really respect how they treat the plant. Oh, it just punches you in the nose. And when you're smelling products, you're really feeling it in the nose, the nose nose babies. So I can tell this one always hits for me just the way it stuns me when I smell it. I would try this on camera for you guys today. However, I reserve my GMO stash for when I truly need it for medical purposes. All right, let's grab another one. The next one we got at the same store is by a new brand I haven't really heard of called Humble Farms. Just regular old rosin made from flour. This is only 14 bucks for a G. This is in the flavor white truffle. So you know I just had to try it to try it. And for being 14 bucks, it had a puddle of terps around it. Was a nice moist consistency. However, it just was a super earthy flavor. 
being 14 bucks, I well thought it was worth the money. I'm going to share one more jar and that will conclude from the first shop I went to. And I, I had to get some cold cure hash rosin by the one, the only Oni Seed Co. Just their packaging, again, amazing. You can tell by the box, you're picking up a high quality product. And since it's hash rosin, it is pressed from hash. So again, you're getting top of the line product in here. And I got a 2G a Bucky of this in Tahiti Typhoon, and it is 73 to 120U. This is another papaya cross, and mm, sheesh, it's beautiful. It was balled up against the side, so I just, you know, agitated it a little bit so you could see it a little better, but. Here's the two G's of the Tahiti Thai food. So like I said, I picked this up at the first medical shop and it was a total of 210 for eight grand. So that's around 26 bucks per G. And I picked up eight G's, which is the max you can get at one store at one time in Colorado. We have the last two products and these are from two different stores. First up, the tried and true 710 Labs. We got some live rosin first press in the lineage of a wedding crasher, which is wedding cake times cake crasher. Gotta respect their packaging out the grip. OGs make better OG. Damn right. You know, the good ones got the pop top. I love the airtight. It's a great way to preserve the terps and the flavors. Ooh. You can't really smell it. It's not really high on aromatics since it is a first press. But she's almost like glass in there. Definitely that first press consistency, a little harder to work with and definitely needs to be consumed at way lower temperatures than any other of these products. But she packs a punch. And this was a $50. Lastly, from the last shop, which I purchased yesterday on my birthday, we got something by Summit Select Solventless. And just look at the packaging on the front of this. Isn't she so pretty? For 40 bucks, Blue Zushi. I'll patch it in, but if you're not familiar, Blue Sushi can go for upwards of a band a jar. That is outrageous. So when I saw there was some Blue Zushi in Colorado for 40 bucks, I said, mm, you're coming home with me. And this is just some regular old lav rosin. So the plants were frozen after harvesting. And this, I was impressed with in a nice little congealed sphere. Blue Zushi's in Colorado now. Tell your homies. I guess we'll end with the Blue Zushi, obviously. I can't believe I have my hands on Blue Zushi. I really can't. That's one of those lineages I was just like, oh, that's fine. I understand the hype, but I have accepted I'll never get my hands on it. To my surprise, on my birthday, I found it. Like that is the can of gods we're listening. I'll be honest, I put kind of a big boy of that papaya spritz, so there's still a puddle left. I'm gonna bump it up to red on the dry mode. Cheers. Ngs for 300 of some solventless high end, like 30. Like that's that's crazy. I love living in Colorado. We're gonna go in on the blue sushi to end this video. That spear, crazy. All right, you know I had to go back to green. Get five times for the dry. Wow, unique. Dare I say it, umami? Mm. My favorite part about my batch filming day is I feel good by the end of it. Not even by the end of it, I'm only halfway done. I still got more videos to film. Ah! Well, thank you so much for joining and tuning in. I hope you were enjoying along with me. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below to keep the conversation going. If you'd like to sesh with me more and hang out, you can always subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload. If you're curious about my content, my previous upload was doing 25 derbs 
for my 25th birthday. And my next video will be explaining the benefits of solventless. I post full videos on YouTube every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And I upload original shorts on Instagram every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I guess I'll be seeing you real soon. Peace. And if you didn't hear it yet today, I appreciate you. Bye.